Challengers, it is day 16 of the 21 day positive thought challenge. I'm getting a little sad because we're moving so quickly. I feel I, I remember posting day one, and day 21 seemed like it was so far away, but here we are on day 16, so we're moving really fast throughout this challenge. I hope you're enjoying it. It seems like you are. I'm seeing a lot of interaction, I'm seeing a lot of comments, and I'm loving every single one of them. Uh, I love the way you guys are encouraging each other. That is exactly what I hoped would happen. Thank you so much for that. We still have time for you to invite your friends. We still have time to grow. Uh, we're on day 16. We have a few more days left. Uh, so let's get into day 16. If you haven't read the article, the 21, um, 21 one sentence sentences for anyone who believes that they won't be okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I wrote the article. Uh, check it out on thoughtcatalog.com. Uh, that's what this whole 21 day challenge is, is based on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into day 16. This is one of my favorite days, I won't lie, um, because I think today just sums up and, 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 and very succinctly, uh, it, it summarizes the whole point of the 21 day positive thought challenge uh, because it just really focuses on the why. So check this out. Here's day 16 of the 21 day thought, positive thought challenge. I'll read it to you now. If you are still breathing, that means God is not done with you yet. I absolutely love the thought of that. I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back for even writing that <laughs> because it really does sum up the, the very concept of moving, of, of moving on and, and getting strong and, and persevering and staying in the fight. Because you woke up this morning, because you can hear my voice, because you can see my face, because you can rhyme or reason, because you are enclosed in your right mind, that means you still have purpose left. God is not done with you yet. There is still something on this earth for you to do. So don't focus on the pain. Don't focus on yesterday. Don't focus on the mistakes. Don't focus on the stuff that happened. You don't have time for that. You still have something on this earth that needs to be done that's driven by your purpose. What is your purpose? It's the reason that you're here. What is the, the easiest way to find your purpose is to focus on your talents, focus on your gifts, those things that come naturally to you, those things that just come easy to you. Maybe you're good with your hands. Maybe you're a good speaker. Maybe you make friends really easily. Maybe you're just a, a, the a type of person, you're an empath. You can feel other people's pain. Uh, if you're the type of person where it feels like someone's always coming to you with their problems and you're like, man, why does everyone always come to me with their problems? Well, it's probably because you have a gift of empathy. People just feel like they can talk to you and your gift will make room for you. I believe that a hundred percent that God is going to use your gift to not only glorify the kingdom of heaven and bless others, he's going to use it to bless you as well. So he's not done with you yet. How do I know? Because you're here. You're still on this earth. Once that purpose is fulfilled, once God is ready to call you home, then none of this is going to matter anymore. <laughs> so as long as you're getting another 24 hours, then take that as a blessing. That's why I've gotten into the habit of waking up in the morning and just saying, thank you. Thank you for another opportunity to be on this earth. Thank you for another opportunity to, to chase my dreams, fulfill my, pur my purpose. Thank you for another opportunity to just praise you, just to be in awe of you and, and receive all that you have to give, not just monetary things and, and, and stuff. I'm talking about that feeling inside that I'm special, that I'm important, that I'm uniquely made, that God has, has something here for me. I'm just so grateful for that. Uh, so, and and I, know I, I know I have it because I opened my eyes. <laughs> that is empirical evidence that God is like, Tony, I got some more stuff for you to do, so I'm gonna give you one more day. And that's how I try to live my life. That every single day is a gift. Maybe that's why they call it the present. I don't know. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, if you're finding a hard time finding gratitude, and sometimes that's not the easiest thing to do. Sometimes it is hard to find uh, gratitude in a situation, especially when you feel like the situation is hopeless uh, or you feel like the situation um, is, is just not going to work out. The fact that you're going through it, the fact that you're awake, the fact that you are, uh, you know, you're here means that God's not done yet. 
He's not done with you. He's not done with your situation. It's going to pass and you're going to be a lot better for it. So because I know he's not done with any of us yet, I can say with a, uh, almost 100% confidence, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>